Why, hello there. It is me, Onion Creature, and I'm here today to discuss a new Kirby video game that was released in September of this year, 2020. Now this is, uh, of course, Kirby Fighters 2. It was shadow dropped on the eShop. They actually leaked it beforehand, shockingly enough. And it's, it's a Kirby fighting game. Think of it as a Kirby version of Super Smash Brothers, basically. The purpose of this video is for me to post a review online talking about it. And so that's what I'm about to do. Shout out to HAL Laboratory for giving us some shred of happiness in this absolute hellscape of a year. Good on you. This is the first all new Kirby title of 2020 and was somewhat bizarrely leaked by an official Nintendo website on September 22nd, only to be officially released the next day. It's a sequel to the original 3DS Kirby Fighters Deluxe, and costs more than twice as much, though it does have significantly more content. HAL has made this release in particular feel special by debuting an all-new Kirby ability, Wrestler. It does seem to be very inspired by the Suplex ability, but it does have its own exclusive moves and identity. It's pretty awesome that HAL included an all-new ability in a spin-off fighting game, and it adds quite a bit to the value of the title. This is only the third Kirby game to feature online multiplayer, and it's by far the best in the series so far. The mode is surprisingly smooth, surpassing both Kirby Battle Royale and Super Kirby Clash in terms of stability and performance. Fighters 2 legitimately performs far better than Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which is pretty baffling, though I'm not sure if that says more about Smash than it does about Kirby Fighters. The game features what is possibly the best soundtrack out of any of the digital exclusive Kirby games. Every single stage has an all new remix, and the new main theme for Kirby Fighters 2 is great. Many of the new remixes sound very different to the usual Kirby style, and are a joy to listen to. Shockingly, this is the first Kirby game on Switch to be 60 frames per second. It's a bit crazy that it took this long, and it makes me wish even more that Star Allies hadn't been stuck at 30, as it would have improved that game dramatically to have a smoother frame rate. Fighters 2 doesn't visibly suffer in regards to visual fidelity from this change at all, and looks just as good as the other Kirby Switch games. HD Rumble is also subtly implemented, akin to previous Kirby titles on Switch, but does feature a pretty neat stair climbing effect when the player progresses to a new floor in story mode. There's some great new stages based on Robobot, Star Allies, with my favorite being the Gourmet Race stage. It's really cool to see the Superstar style redone in a modern game. The training level is also an exact copy of the Kirby 64 tutorial screen, which is a really fun reference. Just about all the stages from the 3DS version are also present, and look great in HD. There are over 20 different abilities, quite a diverse lineup, and includes classics like Bell and Archer which haven't been seen for a while. Each has something different to offer, and it's fun to experiment and find which one you like best. There are also a few non-Kirby playable characters, based on the dream friends from Star Allies. The range is somewhat limited, unfortunately, but the essentials, DDD, Waddle Dee, Meta Knight, are here, alongside the more exciting inclusion of Maglor and Gooey. I do wish that there had been more, but there are fortunately indications that more characters might be added to the game later. You unlock the game's characters, stages, costumes, and power-ups for the story mode by earning experience points for battles and leveling up your rank. This system works reasonably well, but given how long it seems to take to unlock everything by reaching level 100, this does act as unnecessary padding after a certain point. The two different single-player modes are story mode and single-handed mode. Single-handed mode is very similar to the single-player of the original Kirby Fighters, where you fight through a series of stages, culminating with a final battle against Shadow Kirby. Story mode has a somewhat similar structure, but features an AI or player-controlled companion. It even has some roguelite elements. The framing device is that Kirby and his buddy have been challenged by King DDD and Meta Knight to climb a giant tower and face the two in a duel. You climb each floor by defeating AI opponents alongside a small handful of bosses. Power-ups are collected after every battle, which can upgrade your stats, grant specific benefits, or simply restore health. Unlocking more powerful items at higher ranks is key, as it provides a tremendous help in the more challenging portions. This mode is actually quite difficult, and is probably one of the most challenging main modes in Kirby history. In the final chapter of this mode, which consists of 50 different battles, lives are introduced, 
and if you fail more than three times, you'll have to start again at the first floor. This took me quite a few tries to complete, and it was very rewarding to complete the final battle. I really enjoy the power-up system this mode uses. It requires you to decide which upgrade would be most beneficial, leading to some tricky choices. There hasn't been anything quite like it in a Kirby title before, and it offered a novel experience that I wouldn't mind seeing return in a future game. Unfortunately, the mode does become pretty repetitive after a while, with the majority of your time being spent fighting different AI-controlled Kirbys, and I think just having a few more bosses would have gone a long way to decrease the monotony I experienced. The Meta Knight and King DDD team up is a pretty fun dynamic as well, and the battles against these two are pretty unique and feature the duo teaming up for their ultimate attacks. There's also a few miniature cutscenes included in these battles, which are incredibly amusing, as are the credits, which feature the return of an all time classic song from a previous Kirby title. There are a wide range of items that randomly spawn in battles, many of which are all new to Kirby Fighters 2. They add tons of variety to battles, and there are some really great ones here. There's also stage hazards, which make levels feel more distinct and dynamic. One other oddball mechanic is the ghost system, where members of a team who are defeated respawn after a short time as a ghost, and can steal life from enemy players to regain a small amount of health and re-enter the battle. I actually really enjoyed playing with all these unpredictable game elements, as they add surprise and intrigue to matches, though of course they do make battles more luck-based. All of these can be turned off in local multiplayer and while playing online with friends, but unfortunately when fighting online with randoms, there are absolutely no configurable options. You're stuck with the base team rule set, with items, stage hazards, and ghosts present. While I do personally enjoy this style of play, there really does need to be some sort of configuration available for those who don't want to play with this rule set. I don't really have much hope that this will be changed, but I'd still love to be proven wrong. Another all-new mechanic to Kirby Fighters 2 is the Gobble Attack, which functions as a cross between the Smash Brothers Grab and the traditional Kirby in a Hail. By pressing the Y button, your fighter will attempt to swallow their opponent. Once you've successfully done this, you can then spit him out and send him flying across the screen. This system is also used in boss fights, where you can inhale stars and send them back at enemies, just like in traditional Kirby games. I really enjoyed this new system, as it added more strategy and depth to the combat. I'm no expert, but this game doesn't seem to be very well balanced at all, with some abilities just being objectively better than others. I don't need Kirby Fighters 2 to be a perfectly fine-tuned, hyper-technical fighting game. It's even more of a party game than Super Smash Bros. is, but even still, a more level playing field would have been preferable. There seems to be some indication of paid DLC releasing for the game at some point, as the eShop page states that Fighters 2 includes in-game purchases, even though the current version doesn't at all. Hopefully this will add more playable characters to the game. It would be awesome to see the remaining dream friends put in, as their current absence is pretty conspicuous. In terms of value, Kirby Fighters 2 is decent. Obviously this is subjective, but the game is in line with other Nintendo published digital releases in terms of the price to content ratio. The main single player modes will probably take a bit over 5 hours for most people to complete. And while this alone isn't an amazing deal, the inclusion of a very functional online mode does boost its merit. Just a side note here, data miners have found leftover files for some sort of 3D Kirby game, which seems to be totally unrelated to Kirby's Blowout Blast or Kirby Battle Royale, HAL's previous 3D adjacent titles. I really do hope that this is actually an indication for the future direction of the Kirby series, as a full-scale 3D Kirby game has the potential to be really incredible. Kirby Fighters 2 is a well put together platform fighter, and while it certainly isn't the biggest release of the year, it does have quite a lot to offer to Kirby fans and those looking for a fun multiplayer title. It's not the massive Kirby release we've all been waiting for since Star Allies in 2018, and more certainly could have been done with the concept of a Kirby fighting game, but for what it is, taking into account the fairly low asking price, Fighters 2 is pretty great. Why does this game have better online than Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? I don't know. It's one of life's many questions. Yes, that is that is Kirby Fighters 2. That that grand old Kirby video game. Well that was a blast and a half. I'll check back later for more videos with Kirby in them and maybe videos without Kirby in them. I'll see you later.